Hello folks, I am here <laughs> to make this new video and uh, it's been a while, I know, since I have uh, last uh, made one but I really hope uh, you will like this one because it's um, going to be part of uh, my format uh, Judaism and else which you can find right here and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, to add um, the notifications to your email so that you can reach out to me uh, quicker and uh, you can see uh, my video as soon as I publish them. Um, it's been uh, since uh, the last uh, uh, yeah couple of months, three months maybe, um, exactly uh, the 27th of uh, January when I made my uh, last uh, little video on uh, this format I repeat Judaism and else and uh, the first video of this playlist was uh, on the topic of the Shoah here is the link and um, I was uh, really um, I felt really compelled to make this video because we are uh, close to another um, festivity uh, which uh, is uh, probably the latest added on uh, the Israeli um, calendar concerning uh, the sacred day, let's say. And um, I beg your pardon in the beginning for my English if it's not so good because I am not uh, an English speaking person I am Italian and I really I really I'm really doing a lot of effort to <laughs> try and sound uh, the more accurate uh, as possible and for the ones who saw uh, the video I made on uh, the Shoah I really hope you will like this video I will I am going to make about um, Yom Yerushalayim, which is uh, Jerusalem Day. This year, uh, 2017, Yom Yerushalayim will fall on uh, 24th of May. But what is Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day? This is the newest holiday on the Jewish calendar. Uh, in order to uh, celebrate the reunification of Israel capital and it's um, celebrated on the 28th day of year which means six weeks after uh, the Passover Seder one week before the year of Shavuot and in 2017 Yom Yerushalayim, as I said, falls on May 24. Um, but although Jerusalem uh, has been considered the capital uh, city of uh, Jewish people since the time of King David, who conquered it and built it as the seat of his monarchy approximately around uh, 1000 BC, this uh, has never uh, this is or never has has never been uh, a special day um, in a sense that um, it hasn't there has never been a special day in honor of the city until the Israeli army took over the ancient eastern part of the city on the third day of the sixth sixth day war in June uh, 1967. But uh, shortly after the Six Day War, which is a municipal uh, unification of the two sections of the city, this took place, no? Ending uh, 19 years of separation between uh, predominantly Arab and Jewish suburb of Jerusalem following the War of Independence in 1948. And in 1948, we also uh, remember uh, the days of uh, Yom Hadzikaron and Yom Hahatzmaut, which are um, two days. The first day, Yom Hadzikaron, uh, remembers uh, the fallen Israeli soldiers which have fought in order to have uh, the independence of uh, Israel. 
and Yom HaHatzmaut is Israel Independence Day. So why am I saying that this is a young holiday? Because due uh, to uh, the young age of uh, this uh, festivity, uh, there is still not much that makes this festivity unique in terms of customs and traditions. It is gradually becoming um, a pilgrimage day where uh, thousands of Israelis travel, also some hike uh, to Jerusalem in order to demonstrate solidarity uh, to the city. And this show of solidarity is of uh, a very special importance. Why? Because uh, to the State of Israel, uh, since the international uh, community has never approved the unification, um, of the city, I mean, uh, of the city under Israeli sovereignty, and many countries have not recognized Jerusalem as the capital of the Jewish state, uh, in the sense that um, there is also, uh, um, I mean, uh, the intervention of uh, the United Nations partition plan of November 1947 assigned a status of international city to Jerusalem. And um, this, um, this took place, as I said, in the, the latest 60s, when Moshe Dayan, Yitzhak Rabin, uh, Rehavam Zevi and Uzi Narkis uh, were actually themselves in the old city of Jerusalem during the Six Day War. And, uh, there is a special uh, picture where we can actually uh, see them all and uh, this is um, a photo in uh, black and white and uh, I will show it to you right now. And um, What's more, the Israeli education system devotes the week preceding this day to enhancing the knowledge of uh, the Israeli history and geography, with a, a special emphasis on the unique role that it played in the Jewish, uh, in the Jewish messianic aspiration since biblical times. Okay, guys, uh, this is a very controversial topic. I don't want to talk much about it because um, as a person who studies the Jewish culture, the Israeli culture, the language and so on, uh, I saw that there is a very uh, evident clash uh, among the, the different uh, beliefs in Judaism and the Messianic uh, Judaism is probably one of the most um, critical, uh, let's say, situations, uh, because as you know, uh, Jewish uh, messianic, messianics, um, I said I don't want to talk much about it, but it's better that I do at least uh, uh, some, uh, some explanation. I mean, uh, messianics uh, believe that there is actually the Mashiach, while uh, the real uh, Jewish people are still waiting for the Mashiach. So, mm, probably I've confused uh, uh, Messianic Judaism uh, as a sort of inspiration to Catholicism, but I mean, it's, it's really not. I mean, I think that Messianic Judaism is a sort of uh, a contradiction because I would like to say my opinion on this. If uh, people that are uh, Christians, um, if people that are Christians actually believe in, uh, in Jesus, um, I wonder why they say that the Jewish people have been left behind with their faith 
they have not been advancing. But I, I think this is actually very, very nasty, nasty towards them, because how are they supposed to believe in a faith, in someone, if they want to say, in someone that has come 3,000 years after? It's not possible, because this would mean to change a faith, a religion, in something that you believe in. If you've, if you've believed in something for 3,000 years or more, it is not possible to change the roots and uh, the traditions of uh, the real Judaism. So, maybe I'm not the best person to say such uh, a thing, but I really believe that Judaism is the traditional, the first the traditional religion as a monotheism. Monotheism comes from the Greek word monos theos, which is one God. They believe in one God. And God first uh, got his manifestations to the Jews, to Moses. So mm, why are they supposed to change their faiths where in, there is nothing to change, to tell the truth? I mean, this is not possible. But going, I mean, I, I want you to go and do your researches so you can understand even better what is Judaism, what is Christianity. Christianity, as, uh, as, as you know, is not a Jewish idea. This is why they keep on struggling. Um, and what I want to say about uh, going back to Jerusalem Day, Yerushalayim, Yom Yerushalayim, uh, there is a very, very uh, important practice that is reciting Hallel and um, following the model of uh, Yom Haatzmaut, the chief rabbinate of Israel has decided that this day should also be marked with the recitation of Hallel, which are uh, the, the Psalms of Faith, Praise, sorry, the Psalms of Praise, and with a lengthier version of Tzukeid's Mira, which is uh, the Psalms in the earlier part of the morning service. And it is quite clear that the ultra-Orthodox Jews in Israel and abroad have not accepted Yom Yerushalayim, but it is not clear how many Orthodox Jews actually chant the Alel Psalms uh, on this day. And uh, Israel uh, progressive prayer book, uh, notes that Hallel should be recited on Yom Yerushalayim, but not on, uh, not, not so uh, the Mazorti, which is the conservative Jews uh, prayer book, which does suggest uh, a list of supplemental readings for this day. Um, also, uh, the American conservative Sidur, Sim Shalom, mentions that Hallel is recited in some congregations on Yom Yerushalayim. The, um, the ambiguity of the religious status of this holiday is actually reflected uh, in celebration or lack of thereof uh, outside of Israel. Uh, while the city uh, of Yerushalayim has significant meaning for all the Jews, uh, Yom Yerushalayim has yet to attain the popularity of Yom Haatzmaut, and it's not it's not observed extensively outside of Israel. So I feel like saying this is felt like uh, more into Yerushalayim itself and in Israel itself rather than the rest of uh, the Jewish world. Um, unlike Yom Haatzmaut which is a day to celebrate the existence and successes of the modern Jewish state, Yom Yerushalayim also can make some politically um, liberal, uh, can make some politically uh, liberal Jews outside of Israel very, very uncomfortable. Why am I saying this? Because due to the continuing conflicts over the future of the city. As we know, uh, Jerusalem is uh, constantly uh, Israel, uh, not only Jerusalem, but Israel is uh, uh, constantly a theater of many clashes. Um, 
Even some Jews who believe that the city should remain undivided and under Israel's control choose not to emphasize Yom Yerushalayim as a day of joy because of the deeply emotional, violent, and controversial state of the current political uh, conflicts, such as the Arab position of uh, Jerusalem. And uh, others, anyhow, believe that despite of the current political uh, conflicts, an undivided Jerusalem is something to be celebrated openly and unhesitantly, a sign like Yom Haatzmaut of Jewish uh, political independence. Um, there is um, a very, very uh, common uh, citation in uh, Yom Yerushalayim uh, celebration is uh, in Israel and uh, the quote is uh, sorry my uh, Hebrew language is not so good so I'm going to try this quote is from Psalms uh, uh, 122 uh, chapter 4 which is Yir Sherubra Lach Yataiv <laughs> Sorry, which is a city that is compact together or a city and is an untying all. And uh, this translation is probably influenced by a rabbinic midrash uh, on this verse, which interpreted the phase to reflect the uh, events in uh, rabbinic times. And uh, I'm using the citation today, a modern midrash has been built on the rabbinic interpretation and um, the course which uh, Yom Yerushalayim will take in future decades will be influenced undoubtedly by the political developments that determine the status of the city in future times. And uh, also there is a very, uh, very, very special uh, song by my favorite singer who is actually a, a Jewish and I'm talking about uh, Matis Yahu. Matis Yahu has made a song on uh, Jerusalem which is a very very lovely song and uh, actually I'm going to make you uh, listen to some of the, this, um, this uh, song which is really going uh, I guess to uh, touch your heart into deep and uh, really I hope you like it and I will also put some videos of, uh, of, this, uh, of this song and uh, here it is. We've been traveling from state to state And I don't understand what they say Three thousand years in no place to be No one has to give up on milk and money Don't you see? Not about the land or the sea Not the country, not the country, not the country, not the country Jerusalem, please don't forget you You're not gonna come from it all Jerusalem, please don't forget you Let my right hand forget what it's supposed to do Jerusalem, please don't forget you I am not going to come from it on Jerusalem, this place forget you Let my right hand forget what it's about to Let us build the temple and the crown of glory Here's gun by about 16 We were burned in the oven in the century And the gas tried to come But they couldn't show here We're not like that And we're not for the same So they come to see Yeah, they're trying to be free I raised the team And I love your memory Change your name and your identity I'm free of the past And the dark history Finds everybody always chasing Cut off the roots from your family tree Don't you see? That's not the way to be Jerusalem, this place forget you Why you're not gonna come from it on? Jerusalem, this place forget you Let my right hand forget what it's supposed to do Jerusalem, this place forget you Why you're not gonna come from it on? Jerusalem, this place forget you as um, I also want to add this uh, special song uh, is based on Psalm 27 
and uh, suggest to go and do this song. And uh, I really would like uh, to say that I hope you can enjoy this uh, video for me. And, uh, and that could uh, help you learn something new. And uh, again, in order to show my support to Israel, I'm Israel Thai, the people of Israel live. And here is the link to the song by Matthias Yaki. I really hope you like it and kiss. Shalom.